and brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to let you know that, um, yes, I have the same pink sweater because I am filming them all in one day right now. This is the third Saturday of Easter. It is April 2013. Um, the reason why I'm recording them ahead of time is because it's been requested of me uh, by some of my fellow Christians to record it earlier so that way they have something to meditate on before they go to Mass in the morning. Um, they can actually be able to already know the readings ahead of time. So I'm going to try to help you out with that. I may not always be able to, but I will definitely try. Um, I do have my family too, so I know first and foremost the good Lord wants me to focus on my family, but this is my second duty now to you. Again, today is the third Saturday of Easter, April 20th, 2013. Today's first reading comes to us from Acts 9, 31 through 42. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. She was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, she grew in numbers. As Peter was passing through every region, he went down to the Holy Ones living in Lida. There he found a na man named Aeneas, who had been confined to bed for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once, and all the inhabitants of Lida and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now, in Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha, which translated is Dorcas. She was completely occupied with good deeds and almsgiving. Now, during those days, she fell sick and died. So after washing her, they laid her out in a room upstairs. Since Lida was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him with the request, Please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs where all the widows came to him weeping and showing him the tunics and cloaks that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out and knelt down and prayed. Then he turned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up, and when he had called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many came to believe in the Lord. Today's responsorial psalm is, How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? It comes to us from Psalms 116, 12 through 13, 14 through 15, and 16 through 17. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? O oh Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? Today's gospel comes to us from John 6, 60 through 69. Many of the disciples of Jesus were listening and said, let me start that one over again. The gospel according to John 6, 60 through 69. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, this saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe, and the one who would betray him. And he said, 
For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God bless you, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.